So this past weekend, Alabama absolutely annihilated Ole Miss, but it didn't come without its losses. It's being reported that running back Jace McClellan is set to miss the remainder of the 2021 season with a knee injury, and we need to talk about this because he offered a lot to the Tide in terms of versatility, and we need to go over how the Crimson Tide can look to mitigate that loss. Before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe we'll be seeing more Trey Sanders, especially in the passing game with this injury? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content, and I'm on my push to 10,000 subscribers, and I'd love to have you along. If you enjoy this content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself. But... With all that being said, let's talk about this, and first and foremost, I wish nothing but the best in a speedy recovery to Jace McClellan. He is an incredibly talented individual who offered a lot to this offense in terms of versatility and balance. We know what he can do on the ground, we've seen it since last year. This kid has got a ton of versatility just in his ability as a pure running back, and that's not even to talk about what he offers out the backfield as a pass catcher. When you put it all together, he's really able to keep a defense on their heels. And because of that, this is a loss that isn't a small one. He's a very talented running back, and we hope that he gets healthy sooner rather than later. Luckily for the Crimson Tide, though, there is a silver lining. And that silver lining is something that I've talked about consistently. From top to bottom, Alabama may have the deepest running back room in all of college football. I mean, when you look at the running back room they have, all guys former top 10 running backs in their respective classes, all guys four-star and above, and right now that depth is going to be huge. Brian Robinson had himself a coming out party this past weekend, and that was awesome to see. But the ability to keep a defense on their heels with the threat of a running back catching the ball out the backfield is something that Alabama will look to continue. It offers their offense a ton, especially with Bryce Young and his mobility, even though he doesn't usually look to run. It offers a ton when there's a running back that can spring free. You get a big play. We saw that in the spring game with one of Bryce's first explosive passes where he juked a defender and then hit Roydell Williams out the backfield. That's the type of versatility it really offers this Alabama offense. So now that Brian Robinson has had his coming out party and we know how talented he is, where will Alabama look to mitigate the loss of Jace McClellan? And I already talked about one of the names just a second ago and another name in the intro. Roy Dell Williams and Trey Sanders. Both guys are incredibly talented. Roy Dell Williams is an individual that we heard a lot about during the springtime. The coaching staff was very impressed with his progress on a week-to-week -week basis, and he was doing big things in the scrimmages, according to all reports. And then on the other side, there's Trey Sanders, a former top 10 high school football player who's had unfortunate injury after unfortunate injury, however, has really worked himself into a place of being healthy, and he looks ready to go. We've seen some Trey Sanders already this year, and he's someone who could really see more reps due to the Jace McClellan injury. When you look at both of these guys, I think both of these guys provide something in the passing game. We saw Roy Dell Williams, like I said, in that spring game. But Trey Sanders, this is an individual who many people have said if he's fully healthy, he may be the most versatile running back on this roster. And when you go back and watch what he did at IMG, it's easy to understand why. Trey Sanders did it all at IMG. He was the punt returner, kick returner. He caught the ball out the backfield, and he was a sensational running back. So as the weeks go on and his health gets better and better, he's an individual I think we could see more of, especially in the passing game. The ability to keep a defense off balance with a running back that is a threat in that portion of the game is huge in the modern college football offense. Alabama has been very successful in that regard with past running backs from Josh Jacobs to Najee Harris, Jace McClellan through the early portions of this season, and because of that, it is going to be a staple of this offense that is necessary to maintain. The injury to Jace McClellan is huge. We all wish for him to have a speedy recovery, and we never wanted to see that because he has so much ability. The only silver lining in all of this is the Alabama Crimson Tide running back room is head-spinningly talented, and they have Roy Dell Williams and Trey Sanders now looking to get more carries and be more involved in this offense. Both of these guys are very talented. Both of these guys are very versatile. So it's going to be very interesting to see how exactly this loss is mitigated because there are a lot of names in this running back room, and I'm just very curious to see which is going to be the one that really takes it over. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.